Hi all, my name is Ayush Mishra and I welcome you all to my channel IT Geeks and Cloud. In this video, I am going to tell you how to create a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure Cloud. So for creating the virtual machine, first of all what you need to do is, you need to go for the Azure virtual machine service. If you are not able to see that service in your home page, then what you can do, you can use the search box for searching the virtual machine. Or also you can go for this menu button here and go for the virtual machine from this pane as well. Once you are on that page on the virtual machine, here you can see the existing virtual machine which we have. Or if you want to create a new one, then you have to just go for the create button and select that option as your virtual machine. Okay. So now you are on the create virtual machine option here. So inside the basic option, you need to fill some basic details about your virtual machine, like what subscription you are going to use for your virtual machine, in which resource book you are going to deploy your virtual machine, what is the name for your virtual machine, in which region you want to deploy it, what are the availability options you want to select for your VM. So this time we are just moving with the basic practical for creating the virtual machine. So I am not moving too much deeper in that part. I am just selecting the basic options which are necessary for creating a virtual machine. In our upcoming videos, we are going to take a look on the detailed version of creating a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure Cloud. So first of all, I have selected the subscription, which is my Azure Cloud Sponsorship subscription. I want to deploy my virtual machine in a new resource book, that is my RG01. Okay. The name for my virtual machine is IT Geeks and Cloud. Okay. And in the region, I want to deploy my VM in East US region. I don't want any infrastructure redundancy. Inside the image, I have to search for the Windows 11. Okay, so I have selected Windows 11 Pro Generation 2 VM. For the VM site, I need 8 gig of memory and two virtual CPUs. Okay, let me type the username for my virtual machine and the password as well. Okay, let me allow the RD3 port. I want to accept the licensing. Then go for the next tab that is guest. Here you can select the option related to the guest which you are going to use in your virtual machine. So this time I am leaving all the options as a default. Then you have option for setting up the network. That's how you want to set up the network for your virtual machine. So as I told you that we are only working with the basic option for creating the Azure virtual machine. So I am leaving all the things as default into the networking section. Management section, advanced section, tabs, and review and create. Inside the review and create, you can see all of the options which selected by you for creating the virtual machine. And it is running the validation on the options which you have selected for creating the specific resource. If the validation gets passed, then you, be, you will be able to create that resource. So in our case, we are going to create a virtual machine. So here also you can see all of the details of your virtual machine which you have selected for the same. Let me just go for the create button. So here you can see the deployment is in progress and it is going to take just 3 or 4 minutes and after that you can see your virtual machine in your Azure portal and when the deployment gets completed then we have our virtual machine in place. So it is not going to take more than 3 or 4 minutes. Okay, so we have to wait till the time. So now here you can see the deployment is completed and now we have our virtual machine in place. So let me go for the go to resource and here you can see the name of my virtual machine that is IT Geeks and Cloud. The region of my virtual machine is East US, the status of my virtual machine is running. The public IP address is assigned to my virtual machine is 20.2.31.99.1.0 and the pub private IP assigned to my virtual machine is 10.3.0.4. Okay, that's fine. Now, here you can see the status of my virtual machine is running. 
how we can connect with our virtual machine before taking a remove session or connecting to our virtual machine we need to select that option connect and then we have to click on the RBP option here so when we select the RBP here you can see one option for downloading the RBP file so we have to click on that button for downloading the RBP file and we have to open it when we open this file it is asking me for the username and the password so we need to enter the username and the password which we have created while we are creating our virtual machine so let me type the username and the password here and let me click on the ok button ok let me re-enter the password and I have to select this option So now here you can see I have successfully taken the remote session of my Windows 11 virtual machine and it is now opening up. So as I first time taken the remote session of my virtual machine, maybe it is asking me for some options and after that I will be able to my virtual machine in a proper manner. Okay. So it is asking me for some options. Let me go for the next and accept it. And here you can see I am on the home screen of my Windows 11 virtual machine and I have successfully connected with my virtual machine which I have just created. So guys this is how we can create a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure Cloud and then we connect on the same. That's all for this video. Thank you very much guys for watching the video. Please like if you enjoy the video. Thank you so much.